What's up, Ocean? You got Matt here, coach of your Montreal Milotic, bringing you our Week 7 battle for the APA Academy. This week we're facing off against Flame Horizon, coach of the Minnesota Lycan Rocks in a game that should be pretty damn good. Uh, he does have a very scary team for us to deal with. Um, it's, it's not the scariest thing in the world. Uh, there's definitely been tougher teams, but Corviknight is really the glue that holds this team together. Without it, then a lot of my mons, namely the Haxorus and the Grimstar, would do a lot more work. Even the Scavalier and the Avalug, they would do so much more work, but uh, that thing being around is definitely a problem. But anyways, let's just jump into it. Before we do, I have to say, um, last week was rough. If you guys missed our, our week six game of the APA Academy, uh, make sure you can go and check that out. It was fucking nuts. <laughs> oh my god, it was ridiculous. Uh, crits, crits absolutely suck. Crits suck. It also uh, had me explain the change that we made to our team. You guys see our team is different. If you guys missed last week, you guys wouldn't have seen those changes or the reasoning behind them. But uh, yeah, look, honestly, crits, crits absolutely suck. Um, I can't say it would have, like... It didn't win me the game by knocking crits automatically. It didn't like it wasn't guaranteeing a win, but it didn't just guarantee a loss, like getting crit had. Like I, it, I had no shot of winning because he got those back-to-back -back crits, which was fucking nuts. Anyways, this team you guys can see, um, Flame has a very solid roster. It's got some weird synergy going on around it. Um, Torkoal, but no Venusaur, which is kind of surprising because I believe Venusaur was available. Um, he's got the Tarantar for sand, but no sand abusers. He got Lapras, which can set up rain with its water moves, but no rain abusers. So it's weird. Um, I don't know. It, it, it seems very interesting. If I had to pick six that he's going to bring, I'd have to pick the Corviknight, Tarantar, Gudra, Aromatisse, the Golurk, and the Lapras. If not the Aromatisse, then maybe the Raichu or the Selgor, honestly. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is a very interesting team that he's got, and hopefully we can do a lot of work to it. We don't have the greatest matchup, but uh, it's a very awkward build, and you're going to see why, because I'm bringing some very awkward things. But we'll start off with something that's the least awkward of them all. We have our G-Max Hatterene here. Uh, Hatterene is very solid in this matchup with Magic Bounce, obviously getting rid of potential um, spikes from Selgorp, Toxic Spikes from that thing, or even Stealth Rocks from something like Tarantar. Uh, Dazzling Gleam at plus one should be a nuke to absolutely everything. We have enough defense to take Adamant Shadow Punches from Golurk or Modest Life Orb Shadow uh, Sludge Bombs from the Selgorp, which means we're not too killed by them while we're in our G-Max form. Uh, and we also take, this is a very important calc because it came up in my mock against Josh, so shout, so, so shout out to Josh. Um, we take a Modest Sludge Wave Gudra. Into, or sorry, Modest Gudra Sludge Wave into a Sludge Wave while we're Gigantamax, which is very important. We also take a uh, Modest Sludge Wave into, so let's say we, it's like uh, it's us against the Gudra. If he goes for Sludge Wave, I can then go for Calm Mind, um, and I'll be, then, I'll then be able to go for a Trick Room and then Gigantamax the next turn. We'll live that hit, so we should be fine there. Uh, and plus one Mystical, plus one Dazzling Beam, excuse me, for my Gigantamax uh, Hatterene is going to do tons of damage to that Gudra. Probably Oko unless it's like Roselli Berry or uh, Assault Death, so we should be fine there. Next Mon we have is going to be our Terrakion. This thing is amazing. It runs over my opponent's entire team. If we can get a, a Swords Dance, it's, it's just game over. Especially if we can get the, the um, I think the name, Corviknight, uh, down to like 70-ish percent because that thing is very scary. Close Combat, Earthquake, Rock Blast over Stone Edge because I don't want to risk the accuracy. It's 10% uh, more accurate. I get the chance to break Sashes on something like the Selgor, which would be nice. So if it wants to go for like a, I don't know, uh, a, a Spike and then a Toxic Spike, I can then fire off a Rock Blast and get the guaranteed two hits off on it that we need to Oko. Probably even th probably need three hits, but that's not even right there. Um, yeah, we have speed for the Gudra, so it allows us to be adamant. We really don't need much speed this game, just for the base 80s. Close combat, again, destroys everything except for the Golurk and Earthquake is for that. But again, a plus two Life Orb Earthquake from an admin Terrakion is going to do tons to the Golurk. I'm really hoping that we can really wear that thing down before we get this thing to plus two, because if it gets to plus two, oh boy, it's going to be tough for my opponents. Our next Mon is our Blastoise here. This is a very defensive Mon, Scald, Toxic, Rapid Spin, and Protect. This thing has a special attack to always break Corviknight's Substitute. If it's max HP, max special defense, calm nature, or careful nature, I'm breaking this up. No matter what, I need that to happen, unless they're sun up, of course, but if he's running sun, I don't think he's going to be running a sub Corviknight. Um, it really wouldn't deal well with the fire type that I have on my team, which I am bringing this week. So, yeah, Rapid Spin is there because, again, I don't want to deal with rocks, don't want to deal with any type of hazard at all because I am bringing my fire type. My fire type is Charizard, so... Toxic is there because we outspeed a, uh, a Lapras. Like, it's a really aggressive Lapras creep, um, just in case. Uh, and what I mean by that is, this is speed for Lapras, creeping me, creeping it. Creeping it. No, creeping me, creeping it. Yeah, whatever. So, usually I would go up to, to 12 speed, but I'm going up to 28, which would allow me to protect just in case he's going up to enough speed to outspeed me at 12 speed, which is what I want to say. Protect is there to stall out Toxic, also to waste turns of the uh, the Gigantamax from the Lapras. I really, really, really wanted to calc a, well, if I could take a modest max lightning from the Lapras into a max lightning 
through protect, but for some reason Shodown wouldn't show me, should not Shodown, but uh, the damage calcs wouldn't show me what protect, or how much protect would I would do to it, so it may be better off for me to just go for, like, a rabbit stint to calc the little bit of damage I would, or to switch out into something that would take the hit, but, uh, I don't know, Blaster is really only there to get the Toxic off on the Lapras and get rid of its, um, of its Gigantamax as soon as possible. That's really the plan, and hopefully we can get that done, because Aurora Veil is very tough to deal with for my team. Our next mod is going to be our Vicavolt here with Bug Buzz, Volt Switch, Roost, and Sticky Web. This is a very common set I've been running with these exact four moves, but it's a very strong set. Uh, we're not too killed by any non-boosted Raichu attack. We take one Jolly Stone Edge from Tyranitar, and we have the rest of our special attack for maximum damage, and Heavy Duty Boots allow us to easily come in on Corviknight 100% of the time, even if we can't get our, our uh, Rabbit Spin on our Blastoise. This is very important because Corviknight is a problem. If I can Volt Switch around his team, that's awesome. And even if he does uh, go into the Golurk, hard into that, it has to take... Um, a bug bus potentially or even just some damage on the uh, the exit which is going to be important i want to make sure i get the chip on the goal to wear it down with my terrakion so hopefully we can do well with that our next mod number five is going to be our roselia here with giga drain sludge bomb toxic spikes and stun spore toxic spikes is very important in this matchup he doesn't have a grounded poison which uh, is very very key here does it have the greatest matchup against things no it really doesn't it struggles with the corviknight it struggles with tyranitar it struggles with a lot of mods even though we do have type advantage over the tyranitar it's just very tough to deal with stun spore is there because we want to make sure we can get off a paralysis on things like the corviknight like the tyranitar if it's not poisoned um just in case it's like a weakness policy rock polish set uh it is very scary uh sludge bomb is there for the aromatisse pretty much entirely and i guess the gudra but uh, i would rather run like i don't know dazzling i feel like we do better against that thing just in case it is um sap sipper so there's that but we have enough special defense to take a modest gigantamax ice beam from lapras after rocks so uh he will get up his veil but we'll live the hit no matter what and we can also fire off a stun spore or probably a giga drain uh we'll probably go for stun spore in this situation and then go for the giga drain after that hopefully we land that stun spore but it is very important we have speed for 12 speed corvine in case he's running a very defensive build and that should be enough to hopefully i'll speed that thing get off the stun spore and then get the hell out of there into our um Vickavolt. and then we also take a side shock from timid raichu and we are running poison point this week over natural cure because i don't feel like he's gonna be running any like thunder wave or i guess what's the word i'm looking for uh willow wisps so we'll see our final mon is going to be hopefully hopefully the mvp of this week because it can do tons of work we're running charizard with sub salak yes huge 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 shout out to rtsk he's the one who uh, brought this set attend brought this set's attention to me because like, uh, I wouldn't run the set. Uh, we have enough EVs in HP to make sure that our HP... Yeah, wow, let me try this again. We have enough HP EVs to guarantee that our HP stat is divisible by four, which means after a substitute and a belly drum, we will 100% proc our Salak Berry. Very important. Um, unless our opponent has a nerve, uh, a nerve uh, Tyranitar, or uh, we have to worry... Maybe we have to worry about the um, the, the sand from Tyranitar. That's also going to be scary because we only get a limited number of hits off on it. But... Uh, at the end of the day, this set is meant to do tons of work. If we can get up, they get this thing in against the Corviknight, we click Substitute 100% of the time because it's switching out. It's going for a Steel Move, a Roost, or it's going for U-Turn. I don't see it going for a Brave Bird. So, there's that. Uh, because that thing is way too important. It can Roost up on my Blastoise, on my Roselia, on my Hatterene in most cases. So, this that thing is going to be meant to be kept around. And if I can get up a Sub and then a Belly Drum... Oh boy, it's going to do tons of damage. And if we can keep our Sub up beyond all that, oh my god, it's going to be fan fantastic so the plan is basically fire punch things at plus six because we'll have our boost from the uh from the blaze which does absolutely incredible amounts of damage to everything else i would love from blaze kick but it's only 90 base accuracy and i'm not relying on that when this is one of my biggest win cons to wear things down and i've been getting incredibly unlucky this season it's just not happening not anymore earthquake is there because it hits everything else that fire punch doesn't sally berry to outspeed everything unless it's scarfed and we should have a really 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 good matchup with our charizard here i'm hoping it put in tons of work for us <sighs> Doesn't out, doesn't KO the Lapras if it's max HP, but it does tons of damage to it. And if we can get off maybe a Toxic Spike on it, maybe one hit of Toxic Spikes before uh, anything crazy, maybe we can force him into the Blastoise or something, then it's going to be a great position. I'm hoping to do tons of work. I would love to get off a Defog or Rap Spin so I don't have to deal with rocks on this set, but I know that may not be possible. <sighs> we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, this is the team, and uh, the battle's going to be tomorrow for me, but you guys will see it in just a second, so I'll be right back with uh, the battle. We're back. Um, so, Selgor, Golurk, Lapras, Corviknight, Raichu, Lolan Form, and Aromatisse. Um, my lead here is definitely going to be the Roselia. Um, that helps me out if he leads off with the, uh, with the Selgor. Um, it also helps that there's no Tyranitar, so I don't have to worry about that thing too much. That thing was a, definitely a big problem. 
Uh, he has one rocker, which is the Golder, and if he wants to lead with that rocker, then I have the type advantage right away. If he wants to lead with Raichu, that's fine. Um, I, I live a hit, I live a Psychic or a Psy Shock, unless it's Life Fold, I believe. Uh, Psychic, I should live if it's Life Fold. Psy Shock, I don't think I do. Anyways, good luck to Flame. <sighs> Finally getting our game done. Excited. Alright, this should be should be good. Should be a good game here. Caspar. The Golden. Okay, that's fine with me because I can just go for a Giga Drain here. Uh, I would love to just be able to get my Toxic Spike here, but I think Giga Drain is my best play. Um, yeah. I have Spin. Does he, he has his Defog, so I'm going to fire off a Giga Drain here. The whole point is I want to get this thing weakened as we manage to do that. We're going to do like 50% of this thing easily. Nice. I see he's going to get the rocks, right? Yeah. I'm fine with that. Um, I just want to make sure I get my, my rat spin off before Charizard has a chance to come in. Um, so I think he's going to go into the core bank here, so I'm going to go for a stun spore. Make the prediction. I think he needs to keep this thing healthy and alive. Um, I have potential spin on my Blastoise. So, as he switches out, go into the core bank, please. Elder Guard, which I think is core bank. It is. Perfect. Now we saw connect. 75% accurate. Can we get the hit? Nope, we don't. Uh, so let's work in. That really sucks. Wow. <laughs> really wanted that hit. Because now I can get off a pretty toxic spike. And he has, well, he has a cleric in one teeth, but still. Mm. U turns. 141 down to 1. 40 40 40 40 there. Okay, uh, let's calc that. So, Roselia versus Corviknight. It's a Corviknight going for U-turn, so I have to be aware of that. And it's a crit, maybe 40 points of health. Um, that could be no investment. He's got to have like no investment in the class, yeah. When it comes to right you can't paralyze this thing, so... That really sucks, that really, really sucks, because I could have gone off a free... Mm. Going to the Kavolt here. I have my boots. I'm disappointed about that. Alright. Let's see, what does he do? How much is he going to do to me? I have my boots, so I'm not going to be affected by the rocks. As I'm imagining he's going for the psychic here. Full switch. That's fine. He's like water. Okay. What are we going to here? Um maybe a Selgor? A lot of bolt switching around so far for him. It would have been great if I had my Toxic Spikes, which I definitely would have done had I paralyzed the Corviknight. Which would literally affected four members of his team. And honestly, if I get up Toxic Spikes, it really helps my Charger sweep against the Lapras. Dorothea, which is this thing, okay. Um, I'm going to fire off my webs here. It'll let me outspeed a lot of things. It really helps to be a Selgor. And Raichu, of course. Both of them outspeeding my entire team. How's your match to get them off? And what are you going to be doing? Wishes. Um, I'm going to go for a bug buzz in case he goes into the Golurk. I should do a solid chunk of that thing as he doesn't just stays in, which is fine. We get some good valuable information off on that. It's about 25% as he can blast me. How much is this going to do? I am at currently 144, 70, I'm 77. Wow. It's a lot more damage than I expected. And uh, I'm actually just going to Volt Switch here. I can come back right now on this thing or on the, uh, the, the Corp Knight anytime. I feel comfortable just roosting off on that. So it's just Volt Switch here. And I'm going to go into... I wonder what the blast is hit my, my rocks. But I think the play would be Roselia here. Uh, I'm going to go Blastoise. Because my entire team can prevent the goal from getting rocks back up. Except for my Katarine, unless we're out of Trick Room and the Vic Volt. So 
That's not quite as useful wish. Alright. You might be expecting to switch out. I really want to spin here. But my play is definitely to stall, I think. That's stalled. Come on. Look at the burn on it. Energy ball, shite. Okay, I didn't do much. Alright. Um, I'm spinning. I'm spinning 100%. Because if the gold comes in, all oh, the speed still. Spin is my play. Rapid spin. Let's get rid of these goddamn rocks. My god. Come on, don't go to gold here. Okay, that's this. That's fine. That's fine. I can get rid of the rocks. I'll take it. Boosting my speed. Go for a thing. Again, my, my investment is to always break a sub with skull from Cormite, uh, no matter what. So I'm gonna go for the skull. Or sorry, no, always break a sub with skull on the Cormite. That's all I want to say. Might have said that, but I'm not positive. Uh, so I'm going to go for this skull here. I can get the burn potentially, it would be great. No burn, but he defogs. I'm cool with that. Um, yeah, he gets rid of the webs, but it's not the end of the world. Um, I'm going to go for another skull here. He definitely knows he can't afford to have webs up. As he switches out, is he going to Raichu or is he going to Lapras? Ray, I think it's Lapras. Yeah. Water Gorb, yep, that's fine. I'm gonna go for a Toxic here. This is not 75% accurate stun support hurts, but like it, it stun support 75%. Like it it sucks, but I'm not beating myself up over it too much, but it, it definitely does suck. I would love to have that thing paralyzed. As we connect Toxic, which is amazing, if we miss it over that. He doesn't Gigantamax, which is interesting, but uh, this, this just helps my uh, Avalanche. He's physical. Very interesting, I guess. Huh. Um, I think my play here is just to go for Protect. Rack up some damage on this thing. He swaps out, that's fine. He actually goes for the Raichu. Flame, what is that? Raichu, yeah. Alright, 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 alright. I don't want to get rid of this thing. I don't want to lose this thing yet. Okay, how much does a... What is it called? It's a Life Orb Ride Shoes um, Bolt Switch to my Hatterene. That's Life Orb. Um, there's Bolt Switch against... Come on now. Hatterene. Um, 42 to 50. And Max Starfall will KO after rocks. I think my play would be going to that right now. Because if he Volt Switches, that's fine with me. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do this. This also covers me if he goes for Psychic. Um, Volt Switch would only do 33 to 40. Psy Shock. Oof, that's gonna do some damage. No, 22 to 27. Shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, 40 points of health. Um, okay. 
If I fire off a trick room here, is that beneficial for me? Because <sighs> I can go straight for Mystical Fire, but I'm not going to appreciate a T-Bolt, so... Um, what are you going to? You're going to Corviknight here. I'm going to Trick Room. I'll get a huge chunk of damage off of everything as he bolts, which is understandable. I would have loved to fight this Gigantic Maximum hard for the Mystical Fire there, but I just couldn't do it. It wasn't, wasn't my best interest. Alright, so I accidentally lost my Calc. Here comes Aromatisse. Okay, got my Trick Room. Okay, Hyrena versus Aromatisse. Moonblast is 52 points of health at most. I think it's better for me to go for two max attacks, two gigantic max. I'll go for two max smites. I want to go for a calm out here. So I think he wishes here. I'm gonna calm out. I think he wishes here. We shouldn't just speed this thing. We have to actually you know, we have the same amount of speed. I have zero speed EVs. Or IVs and EVs. Now we're quite injured, so there's almost, he's got to do all that to go to speed time. As he just wishes, fine, let's cut around. That's kind of what I expected, that's good, that's good. And now I'll get the plus two as well. We'll get the plus two here. Because um, if you. He could just drop. It could also be a very special defensive mod. I don't think it will be. Ah, man. We comment again. Plus twos. No blast. Eat it up. I'm not going to room. Two turns. Um, I'm going to do it. Count the max smite. He stays in. Cool. And this thing I should write down has revealed wish. Energy Ball and the Moon Blast. Max Smite. Come on. Fuck right. That's what I'm talking about. We have another turn off the Trick Room, but plus two, we obliterate everything. Is at, I'm at plus two. If he is a, he can be a salt test. If he's like max special defense, which I don't think he would be, max flare still is enough to KO. My, my only concern right now is because he can just predict this and go and expect the, the max starfall and go into the Corviknight.
I'm going for the max flare here. I want to get rid of this gold As we do, I will take it. Sorry, I have my remote on the, on the table still where my mic is. Okay, two kills for Haverine. Well done, well done. And we weaken the uh, water move of the Lapis. Um, whew. Okay, we have 72 HP. If he goes into the Raichu, we know it's Light Form. Uh, Psyshock will be able to definitely do it. Slash is 43 points of health to me. Thunderbolt will do less. Here's the Corbinite here. I don't think he has any investment. If he's running like Iron Head or something, is that going to do enough? Or Heavy Slam? It should. It should definitely do enough. Um, I don't need this thing around anymore, so I'm going to go for the Max Slayer here, and then I'm going to set up with my Charizard. Iron Head. Yeah. Okay. In comes Charizard. So, Hatterene did its job. He got the Corviknight in. I can find my Hatterene sprites. And, oops, I also gotta find my Goldrick sprites. And get rid of that as well. Uh, Goldrick. So, I'm going into Charizard here. And I'm clicking Substitute. <sighs> Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Come on, Charizard, baby. You can do this for me. Substitute. Oh boy, oh boy. If he's not Scarf at Selgord, or Sash at Selgord, then I think I got this. Because we'll be Blaze Sun Boosted at plus six. I'm so shocked there was no Tyranitar or no Gudra Bring. As I sub, what is he gonna do here? U turns. I'm cool with that. Sub, sub is still on attack. We're good. <sighs> what is he going into? Mm, if he goes to Selgor, he could just bug bust through it. How much does Bug Bug do it? Cell Gore. Why'd you? Nope, that's fine with me. Belly Gum. Bolt Switch. He breaks my sub, he knows that, but what is he going into? That is the question here. Go to Lapis. Elder Guard. Alright. Alright. Salak, I swear to god, you better pop. You better fucking pop. Yes, okay, thank god I pop. Whew. How much time left in the sun? One turn left of sunlight. Fire punch. This is Akka in sun plus six. If, if, sorry, if he's Akka, I don't care. It's plus six in sun. We should be fine here. No Akka berry. Goodbye. That's one kill for Charizard. We are blaze boosted as well. I forgot to mention. So Charizard has. So 39 HP, it's at plus 6, and plus 1. <sighs> Lapras. Rhea. It's a lot less help than I expected. I don't think he's going to have enough HP to this hit. If it does, it's going to be just barely and it'll draw. I'm going to Fire Punch. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, 
Ice shard, fuck me. Oh, he lit it. Oh. Flame, great brain, holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't believe that hit. I can't believe that hit, Ice shard. We lived on three. It's 36 points of health. The max roll was 39. Wow, so he literally needed the max roll if he was max a max attack with a like a neutral nature. Oh my god. Wow. Here comes the Selgor. Is he gonna reveal the water shark in here? I wouldn't be surprised if he had it, but doesn't have it. Is he sad? He's not. And that looks like four kills for Charizard. Oh, we're gonna pick up a 5 0 win. Oh my god, I forgot to get rid of his rights. Um, so, where is it? Lapras went down, a Selgor went down, Corviknight went down, and Righteous Buffy went down. We're gonna get a 5 0 win. Oh my god, this is absolutely huge. You guys don't understand. We are doing terribly right now in EPA. And the fact that we're able to get this big of a win, are you kidding me? Oh, I love it. And Terrakion didn't see the light of day. Trust the game plan, that worked out. GG Flame, um, really surprised with a lot of the mods that you brought. Um, very surprised to not see a Haxorus or a Gudra. Surprised that, I, know, I know why you didn't Dynamax with your Lapras, but, uh, or Gigantamax, but still, I believe like uh, it was a good bring with the, the, Adam, or the, the offensive set. If he was adamant, I wonder what the role was. I'll take a look. Um, if he was adamant, the max roll was 42, that means he basically had a, it was a 50-50 chance to KO if he was max attack adamant. So, oh man, oh my god, thank god we got that win, that's absolutely huge. GG's to Flame, I'm really happy with the way this works, I've been on a hell of a losing streak. Uh, we have our NCP battle going up tomorrow, which should be a hell of a game as well, play against Grandmaster D-Ray. Make sure to come back for that. Make sure to come back on Monday for BBL. For, I believe today is when TBL is going up. TBL will be too, so make sure to stick around for that as well. Uh, shout out to Flame as well for a great game. I, I, I'm so happy there was no hacks involved, which is nice. Yes, I missed the stun score. That didn't matter. I was expecting to miss at least one stun score this game, but... And thank God we were able to get that spin-off on the Blastoise. Blastoise, unsung hero this game, getting it so that Charger can get the sub, the sub and the belly drum off. And then Hatterene, just setting up subs, or not setting up subs, setting up calm lines and going for game. <sighs> thank God we got that win. All right, GG's to Flame. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time.